Initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Orea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Orea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core chamber. I will try to raid the hidden constraint. One has been exposed, but I am from here destroy this fortress is that even possible and what will happen to the spirit if we do I don't know but I think that's the core the answers are down there Hephaestus the daemon there's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you... to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Keep moving towards the core. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Something about restraints.
I am. Please help me! Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the Auxiliary Data Center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Uh, uh, my sister! Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. That's it, Sapkuch destroyed. And it's all over. Eloy has again saved the world. Cyan. 
She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. रिटर्न टू ओडियाज रिट्रीट मतलब जो हम लोग शुरू में गए थे ना एकदम नॉर्थ मोस्ट पॉइंट भी उधर ही टो मोड वन मिनट फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन चेंज हो सकता है दिस लुक्स नाइस हाई डी वाई So back at that location, this is supposedly Oria's retreat. Interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the demon's attacks. 
I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps... Was Hephaestus destroyed? Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location. So, while losing the cauldron... It's still out there. Undoubtedly. This Firebreak project... It yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for it. So we've... Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress. You... Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true to she felt disconnected from her tribe and her family. Our visits seemed to help her, yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self sap Although I do fear non-existence. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again. And I predict he will bring other, but I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. Use your judgment, uh, take it gently, you have got to tell them the truth. Let's go for this. You have to tell them you were made by the old ones. That you're not any kind of spirit. It's the only way they can start to learn about how things really are. I see. Do you believe that I misled Aurea? No. She perished believing she was preserving the blue light of... Maybe. But what she really wanted to preserve was you. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. So I chose to uh, inform these guys that the new civilization about the actual, they should learn, they should not remain like a tribe. That is my intention at least. All the winters coming at 
once. My chieftain. Just your life. As you wish. I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still. If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone. And the spirit she sacrificed so much for will be lost. Either way. She was willing to fight. She was Banuk until the end. I was wrong. So it wasn't your failure? They always said I, but Aureus. Though I grieve for her passing. For so long she took for something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, you'd already had a chieftain before me. A wiser one. The daemon is gone. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the corpse? Yes, fire claws. Now, too, has been tracking them from so. I could help with those. I have no doubt. It would seem your time among the Manuk was to waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus, all very interesting. So, the signal that woke you was woke Hephaestus too. And unleash them on the world. His minds are their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia have given life. Apparent life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Cloaked understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. They both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday, we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuka Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. <laughs> I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Hello, Aloy. Hello, Cyan. Mm, let's ask about some... Uh... Do you know what happened to your colleague? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow, years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indef- It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. And what are you- So are you an artificial intelligence science? Thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision. Okay, that's all. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems. It was Aurea who renewed me. How did you first come into contact? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came eager to make contact. I accepted this decision. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code originating. Maria said you were desperate. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network, and it succeeded via a background process. A malware daemon which bypass. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I... It forced me to follow its instructions. I'm sorry. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. What was the old world like? The way it used to be? I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my con... You still had more exposure than me. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. 
The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human- Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for human- I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth, for so she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did, but that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions. She destroyed herself to try to contain them. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light. Why does Hephaestus keep building such data? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system. Yes, we... This must be the source of Hephaestus. It is simply trying to discourage people from praying. Well, fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. Wait, what are we... If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely... If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing a better solution, would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, I feel... You and me both, Sayyid. Time for me to... I look forward to speaking.